Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are welcome to this episode of Church in Your House. Father Lord, once again we have come to appreciate you and to learn under your feet. Thank you for the word of life you have for us today. Lord, I pray that we will understand and apply the words in Jesus' name. Amen. We want to continue our studies of the cross. We are now at the point where Jesus stepped into planet Earth. And I want to tell us something about Jesus. You know, his birth was as ordinary as any other child. And God chose the style that went with trouble so that if you are going through any trouble, you can learn something from Jesus, that no trouble can stop you from bringing forth. He came 100% man and passed through life just the way you and I will pass through it. He passed through difficulties, the way you and I will pass through, and they show that in it all, your victory is sure. Let's look at the mother and the father of Mary. Where we want to anchor in is in Luke chapter 2, verse 7. But we have to go back to verse 1 and read down. But let me read verse 7 first. And she brought forth her first son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. <laughs> she brought forth. Let us have a glimpse of what Mary passed through. Mary that was pregnant, heavily pregnant, and about the time for her to bring forth. But she has to pass through a particular thing. Let's look at verse 1 downward, Luke chapter 2. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenus was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed. Everyone into his own city. Now, listen to this. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, into a city of David, which is called Bethlehem. Because he was of the house and lineage of David. To be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. Look at the journey they have to make. The journey they have to make. Have to travel from Galilee to Bethlehem. The woman that was heavily pregnant. It, it was not a time where you could just uh, hop into the car and they drive you down. The means of transportation is, is either you use your ass, or you trek it. The rich one will use caravan. And it was not an easy thing for a pregnant woman. The government called for census because of taxation. And they said, everybody, go back to your base and be counted there for the purpose of tax. And the what the, the husband, Joseph, had to take Mary with that heavy load, heavy pregnancy, and put her maybe on the ass, and you see the movement that was not comfortable with the baby in the womb, but there could not be any miscarriage. And that let me know that the devil will not make you miscarriage. There is no, whatever, he do, he, no, whatever he's doing, he will not succeed in making you to miscarry. Whatever God has planted in you, you will bring forth safely in the name of Jesus. Whether a baby, whether a project, whatever be it, 
that he has put in you, like I have taught us before, it's not when you see somebody is conceived, it's not only a baby. <laughs> you can conceive anything, anything your heart desire to do. It could be business, it could be house, it could be car, whatever be it, that you conceive, you will bring forth safely in Jesus' name. So the road may be bumpy, but it will not lead to miscarriage in the name of Jesus. So Mary was able to pass through and went through that tough journey all through and came to a point where the baby came forth peacefully. They said there was no room for them in the inn. We will hear more of that later. But that still didn't stop Mary from giving birth safely. As I'm preaching now, I know there are a number of people that are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Receive that power for conception in Jesus' name. And there are people who have been experiencing miscarriage. Oh, that is past in the name of Jesus. You will conceive, the baby shall be nursed in you, and the time of delivery will come, and you will put to bed safely in Jesus' name. And those of you that have been having vision, one idea or the other, and you could not see it to manifestation, that's of the past. The Lord will help you. Whatever idea he has planted inside of you, you will, he will help you to nurse it. You will nurture it. And in time will come, you will deliver it. It shall manifest to all and bring forth that which he planned for you in the name of Jesus. That is it. And she brought forth her firstborn son. Despite the trouble, despite the rough road, despite, you see, oh Lord, I just, I just love the story of Jesus, the way he came. I can tell you that Joseph was a poor man because of some things we could read about him. There no, no space in the inn, no place for him in the inn. And he had to, the wife had to deliver in the manger where those animals were, <laughs> were kept. If he had been a rich person, he would have bought his way into that inn. And so, even if you are poor, you are wretched, that will not stop God from still putting a great seed that will turn around your situation inside of you. The power for conception is not for the rich only. You may be poor, but you still have the ability to conceive. In fact, in the literal way, whether you have a good room, good bed, or this, it does not really matter. Conception can happen anywhere. And to deliver, it can happen anywhere. You may go to the best uh, hospital in the land and deliver safely. And some could even be in their room and see deliver safely. Some will be traveling. Yeah, we've seen several inside the bus and they deliver safely. The power for conception and for delivery belongs to God. And I say receive it in Jesus' name. The Lord will visit you in the name of Jesus. All of these stories about Jesus Christ is just teaching us, just teaching us to Prepare ourselves for victory, for success. So there is no excuse for failure. You may be low. You can't be too low for God to bring you up. That is how he is. Let's learn from Jesus. He's coming. He came through poor parents. You may be poor, but there is something about you that will turn around that poverty. In the name of Jesus. Let's all be excited about it. You may not see wind. You may not see cloud, but this rain will fall. The rain of abundance of blessing, it shall fall. That's what happened here. Jesus came as a natural human being. If he had come through a rich family, and those of us that are poor background, we will say there is no space, no room for us, no chance for us for making it in life. But he chose the basest of all human being and say, come, come like this. And they gave back to him in the manger. And that didn't mean that he would remain there. Hallelujah. He grew to turn around the entirety of the whole world. He grew. 
<laughs> to become a crowd puller. He grew to perform signs and wonders. So you are not limited by anything. You are not limited by birth. You are not limited by who you, your father or your mother is. You are not even limited by the village where you were born. No limitation for you. And so you and I, like Jesus, we will grow to become great in Jesus' name. And for parents, I've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Today is your day. Receive the power for conception in Jesus' name. I call you parents because that is what you will answer. Your children will come in the name of Jesus and you become parents indeed. In Jesus' name, amen. Help us, O Lord, to understand that Jesus came as 100% man to teach us how to live our life in a victorious way. In Jesus' name, amen.